Today we are building a friendly moth trap. We don't want to hurt any moths, only admire their beauty and complexity. A patron of mine asked me to make more videos that physically disabled people could do, and so this is one that I think most all of us could enjoy doing. It's real simple. I'm Koa and this is another Casual Outdoors Weekly where we go over an outdoors activity for you to do for the benefit of your health and happiness. We do that all under six minutes. This week we are building a moth trap. That is what this lovely net is behind me. Check it out. So I just went to the local hardware store and bought a black light and found some old netting in the garage. Plus I borrowed an old lamp fixture from within the house. A black light is good because it's creating those short wavelengths of light like ultraviolet to violet and blue. A lot of the lights we have laying around the house aren't producing much of these short wavelengths that we want to use to attract more moths. By the way, don't look directly at lights producing ultraviolet. It's bad for your eyes. It only took about an hour before many moths started to appear. I even tried combining two light sources to attract even more moths in a nook by my cabin. So nature is nifty. These moths are demonstrating a type of taxis, or a movement or orientation towards external stimuli. In this case, the stimulus is light, so we call it phototaxis. And since the moths are drawn towards it, it's called positive phototaxis. And scientists still can't be exactly certain why this behavior occurs, but there are theories. Celestial orientation is a leading theory as to why moths circle around artificial light sources like streetlights. Normally, moths would be using a bright celestial object like the moon as a source of spatial reference. The angle between the moth and the moon appears fixed, and it is a good point of reference as the moth moves. Whereas, when a moth is flying towards a lamp, the angle between itself and the light changes rapidly. Also, visible celestial objects are above the horizon, whereas artificial lights are often below the horizon, causing a moth in flight to have to adjust and swirl and approach closer to the artificial light that it instinctively believes is a celestial object above it. Basically, artificial light confuses these lepidopterans like mad. So this is a super chill activity that cost me 15 bucks or so to get the black light bulb and netting runs for about the same, but you don't need a net. They'll stick to a nearby wall, so put the light in the corner on your porch, like with two walls right there. Dealer's choice. So I'm working on a funny video up here with uh, some burly fishing men, and it, you'll, you'll enjoy it no matter who you are. And uh, so subscribing is always free, you'll get notified. And I um, also found some really cool creatures up here. Let me show you some photos. Spread some knowledge, be nature heroic, and I will see you next week.